We are here at Barton Arrowfield, showing you the new Spitfire Mark 9. This new secret version is bound to pack some flying eye bunch. It's a top secret short range interceptor, although its speed is currently unknown to us all. It is said that this model has been extensively researched for the detail and the realistic flight model. It's bound to send the old Bosch packing as politely as humanly possible. Flying Iron Simulations have developed this aircraft and they have been doing it for a while, mostly for X-Plane 11 up till now. They pretty much only concentrate on warbirds mostly. Now they go on to say that Asobo have developed an enormously complex, detailed and realistic set of flight modelling tools that we have fully implemented to build our Spitfire from the ground up. You'll notice in some of the clips the rudders and ailerons look a bit choppy. They're not like that in the sim, it's just the recording software I'm using. The sounds are just fantastic. It's simulated to function as faithfully as possible to the real aircraft, just as the real Spitfire pilot would have back in the day. Also, exceeding the operating limits or incorrectly operating the aircraft will result in the appropriate failures. It has both the Spitfire Mark 9 variants as well as the unique clipped wing variant and includes several liveries. So from my end, I've flown it around and we're going to have a look at that shortly, but uh, I love the detail of the aircraft. It's, it's, I can't complain at all. It's, the graphics are absolutely superb and you'll see that throughout this video. There are some things though that bother me. You'll notice in some of these clips that the canopy kind of, see there, the canopy? It's kind of glitching in and out. It's just a bit of a glitch there. I noticed that in some aircraft, but it's really bad on the Spitfire. Hopefully uh, Flying Iron Simulations will update that and get that sorted. It looks terrible. The, the graphics in the cockpit and outside are absolutely stunning. Um, the flight model is, uh, I don't know how to fly Spitfire, but I can tell you that I'm making errors when I'm flying and I'm going, okay, that's a Spitfire. Uh, it does appear to be very, very realistically modeled in the air. That's for certain. Sounds of the engine, we're going to see that coming up now. I have to tell you, um, the, uh, throughout this video, I'm going to show you the mistake I made while I'm starting it. I think uh, lots of other people may also run into this problem, and I'll explain it in the live section of the video. As it happens, it's starting now. Okay, I can't wait to hear the sounds of this Spitfire. It's going to be great. So I'm going to start it up now. Uh, I have a kind of reasonable idea how to start it up. Uh, why is the tail hanging in the air? What the deuce? Oh, I'm sure it's just a small thing. Okay, so ready to fly, and let's start up very quickly. Mm, okay, fair enough. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we're going to need uh, fuel. So fuel is behind here, so fuel on. Uh, we put the mixture uh, fully forward. Uh, the, uh, the power, the master switch comes on when you click the throttle, listen. See? There's a light there. So the power is on, the master switch is on. Uh, I feel on, da, 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 we need to maybe uh, prime it. I can't get my primer working for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, we'll do a good of a wobble to put some fuel pressure on. We'll open two switches. Two magnetos have to come on. Uh, where's that truck would go? Where's that stupid truck? I want to hear the Smith Bar sounds. Smith, go away, stupid white man, white, white fan man, you know, go away. Go on, bloody bugger off. I'm just waiting for the sounds. Right, let's press those two magical buttons. I think you pressed about it once, but uh, I'm going in here. So I'm going to hit the uh, engine starter and the boost. I think you're supposed to press them both at once, but that's going to be difficult. Okay, let's go. Uh, starter and boost. Okay, uh, I must have done something wrong. Let's go to the checklist. Uh, da, 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 check your listy poos. Here we go. Uh, before I just start and park and break. I don't hear any sounds for the magnetos, for the switch. Anyway, they're both on. Uh, and starter and booster engage. And that should be it. Simple as that. Okay, let's go. Let's hear this lovely sound from the new Spitfire. Uh, okay, let's ready. Okay, um, 
yeah, this isn't going as well as I planned. Uh, control E is always the way out of these situations. Control E. Ah, here we go. sake. Okay, that didn't work because it's my fault because I didn't read the instructions. I, didn't, I don't like reading the instructions. But anyway, you've got to read the instructions uh, for this bit far because the uh, control E didn't work for me. Uh, the checklist, as you saw, didn't work for me either. There's just a few little things you need to be aware of. So uh, the documentation that comes with it is very good. You may need to have a quick look at that, but the start procedures uh, for me anyway. So I'm going to start with number one here. I'll just move this aside so you can see what I'm doing. So gear, indica uh, gear indicator switch battery on. What that means here is, uh, uh, let's have a look at the throttle here, okay? When I move the throttle forward, there's a little switch and it switches on the master switch automatically. So listen to this and also you'll see the gear light down coming on, listen. See? So what happened there is a switch. If I move forward, that's the switch there, and it's it's switched on by this part here. Okay, that's it. So the battery is on. Uh, that's not your problem, though. Uh, prop control fully forward is here. Uh, carb air filter uh, fully forward, which I believe is here. And uh, we've got the fuel tanks. We need the fuel tanks on. So uh, if I move the control column back here, you'll see it here. So all the way to on. Sounds quite good. Uh, if it's a mixture, idle cut off, okay, that's the mixture here, and it's an idle cut off. Uh, da, da, da. External, external tank off. I'm not going to worry about that. That doesn't actually stop you from starting it. Throttle open one half inch, okay, fine. That's uh, about there. And booster pump, wobble pump, operate until low fuel pressure light is extinguished. Right, so what that is, won't start until the, you have this. You can't see it unless you move to the side, okay? And I don't have my key set up for that. So if this is a wobble pump, it puts pressure into the fuel lines, right? See the light underneath that as a bullet? See the red light, you can barely see it. That has to come off. So I'm gonna continue, and you can hear it. So that has to come off. So they've done a really, very realistic job here. Now it's gone off, see that? It's gone off, so that's one thing. Uh, primer as required, now the primer has a lock on it. Uh, it's here. So you've got to wind it, see that I'm winding it, and then you pull it. So I'm just going to give it one prime. Happy days. Uh, da, da, da. Starter, coil, booster, safety covers open. That's these two down here. Click, click. And we are then going to mixture fully forward. Mixture fully forward, which is here. Magnesia's on. No sound for that switch, oddly enough. Uh, and starter boost coil engage simultaneously. Now, what I was doing before as I was hitting the starter and then the coil, that won't work for you. In between, they have here in the notes, you press in between and it push them both at once. So I'm going to move back so we can hear the lovely sound of the Merlin engine. Let's go. That sounds really, really cool. I don't like the look of that nav light there. They must have left that out. This, uh, am I in the right place? I'm lost, folks. I'm lost. No, I'm not. I'm good. I'm good. I'm on the taxiway. Happy days. Uh, let's just taxi to the end here. Uh, believe it or not, um, uh, if you watch a documentary on the Spitfires, they're all flying their uh, biplanes. Uh, they weren't very powerful. Uh, they're flying the Hurricane. And when they added full power in this, when they went to take off, it just spun around. And most of the crashes were, called, were caused. Most of the crashes were caused by adding the power too quickly. Of course, P factor will cause a yawing motion in the aircraft and it'll tailspin on the ground. Which is a bit of a bummer for those chaps, 
And apparently they lost most Spitfires. Am I going the right way? They lost most Spitfires uh, because of that reason. Apparently. Uh, so there you go. So I think that is the... This is a good runway, actually. It's good, well modelled. There we go. Uh, no, am I in the right place? Oh yeah, okay. There's the white markers. <laughs> Can't see anything! Okay, now we are in the centre of the runway. Okay, great. Okay, good, good, good. So I'm going to add power. I'm going to add power quite aggressively to see if I can... Oh, 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 near... Almost... Almost the prop strike there. So you've got to be careful to hit the brakes in these as well. So I'm going to... I'm going to add full power and see what happens. Oh, oh, I nearly did it again. <laughs> Full power. I'm going to be very aggressive and let's see what happens. Full power. Up we go, we're up. Wow, they've simulated the wind. Now get up. Scare coming up. Very nice. Wow. Uh, now i got to figure out how to close the canopy. Oh, was the, the sound of the gear, the drag of the gear. That is pretty cool. Let's do a quick circuit uh, and then we're going to do some eye candy. Now, here's the airfield over here. Uh, am I going to be able to land this successfully? This is my first time ever flying this airplane in the flight simulator, so... And, again, I'm using the ailerons just to gauge my speed and the feel of the aircraft. I don't think these have a stall warner. So I've taken all the power back. I'm going to go really slowly now, really slow. Uh, I want a three-pointer, that means all three wheels land at the same time. So, I, I can't really see the runway, I can't look to the sides. Uh, but, okay, I think I have it. I think I have it. I think I have it. Here we go, here we go. I only want to stall it onto the ground if I can. Okay, put it down. Okay, Mariah, we're down. Braking. Braking. But I don't want the nose to go forward. Are we going to have success this time? I'm braking, but I don't want the nose to go forward. There we go. Okay, I think we've done it. I think I've done it. Oh, 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 be careful. Nose back. Whew. I've done it. We've, I've landed the Spitfire. That's tricky. That's hard. And um, I wonder what people who've flown something like this before would say about it. But I have to tell you, the sounds are absolutely stunning. Let's look at some Gripper's Same Eye Candy. Oh, 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 oh